Sassy the Sasquatch is one of the funniest and most introspective characters in the Big Les Show series. And for good reason, he's a fan favorite. What are you talking to me? However, many fans of the series aren't aware of what his origins are, or how he can seemingly manifest whatever he wants at any time. Oh, f yeah, you got me mac and cheese and apple juice again! And so, in today's video, I'll be going through the entire extensive Sassy the Sasquatch timeline and detailing every little step along the way. So please, grab some popcorn and enjoy. Sassy's story begins as he is greeted by aliens. However, Sassy isn't content with just saying hello as he wants to explore the dinosaurs and forces his way onto the aliens UFO with the spaceship eventually crashing back in prehistoric times. Oh, hello there, little fella. Did the spaceship scare you? Nah, you all right, aren't you? And once Sassy is in the dinosaur age, he meets Donny for the very first time. However, it's a far lesser evolved version of the Donny we know and love. Well, that is, until Sassy gives him some of his special flowers, which awakens his consciousness. I'm gonna call you Donny. Donny the dealer. <sighs> when you when you touch me just then, I I remember. And boy oh boy, is Sassy awakening people's consciousness a key theme in his timeline. After meeting Donny, the pair go to the top of a mountain to watch a comet hitting the Earth. However, one thing to note at this point is that Sassy is practically invincible. And as a result of this, he sleeps through the entire meteor and the reshaping of Earth as we know it. However, one thing that isn't invincible is Sassy's scissors. Oh no! More scissors! F happened again! At this point, Sassy meets Owly, who warns him not to go out to sea due to the torrential weather. However, Sassy responds with a brilliant impersonation of Bear Grylls. I'm gonna take my chances out at sea and hopefully find more land where I can find some more protein and vitamins. And once Sassy is out at sea, he once again shows us his incredible ability to make friends, as he catches a ride with what appears to be the Loch Ness Monster, who Sassy refers to as Long Neck 2.0. And for some reason, I don't know why, I just always found this incredibly funny. Sassy once again gets into a confrontation with the aliens. However, this time he's dragged to Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. Of course, a brilliant reference to the alleged alien crash in real life at the same time in the same year. And while Sassy is in Area 51, he introduces the interrogators to the iPhone before going downstairs and introducing himself to Wayno. Do you smoke weed? Smoke it, eat it, grow it, buy it, sell it. Okay, so this is just a little bonus one, but I think Sassy might be the first ever person to successfully kickflip a penguin. And of course, then smoke a joint with him afterwards. Almost 50 years after escaping from Area 51, Sassy introduces himself to Nigel, before gathering all of the people he's met on his journey thus far, and showing them all to Nigel as well as introducing them to the town of Browntown. And let's just say Nigel isn't too happy about this. Yeah, Nigel, these are my mates I was telling you about. No, 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 this isn't f happening. What? Y yes it is. Before Les is introduced into Sassy's universe, we can see Sassy as well as the rest of the Sasquatches in the Mike Nolan show, partaking in their favourite pastime. Which, of course, is taking every substance under the sun. However, this is pretty much Sassy's only involvement in the Mike Nolan show, and Sassy's timeline after this has far more involvement with Les. In most of the Big Les Show Season 1, Sassy serves as a funny side character to Les's shenanigans, often finding himself down at the Volcano Bong with the rest of the Sasquatches, or providing the show with some comic relief with his one-liners. I saw it! It was a bloody teenagers! You just told me you did it. Shut up, Sassy! However, Sassy's first major role comes from Chuma Island 1, where we learn what happens to Sassy if he doesn't smoke a joint for an entire 20 minutes. You all right, mate? Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh, quick, have that, mate. How you feel? What are you talking to me? 
during season 2 of The Big Les Show, Sassy forever etches himself into the subconscious of Les, as well as in the hearts of all the fans, by giving him a chicken wrap with some very special ingredients. Vodka sauce, bam and the dirt is gone, Ajax spray and wipe, some chicken and cheese, all wrapped in a tortilla. <laughs> And this episode will forever hold a place in my heart personally, as it was the first ever episode of The Big Les Show that I watched when I was a young teenager in school. However, it's not all fun and games for Sassy the Sasquatch in Season 2, as Sassy goes to prison for the very first time for having just about every substance under the sun in the back of his car. Holy mother of God. You see this border, mate? And after a short time in jail, Sassy becomes an incredibly helpful character, as it turns out that Sassy Foods, although incredibly toxic to consume, is an incredible source of spaceship fuel, as well as a brilliant way to kill tumors, which is seen in Attack of the Tumors Part 2. Went a little bit overboard on the ketamine on this one, mate. Enjoy. <laughs> At the start of Season 3 of The Big Les Show, Sassy shows just how dedicated he is to finding new ways of getting high, as he gets himself a Gamma Max 2063 V2.0 Platinum Edition. What are you doing? Setting up the old Gamma Max 2063 V2.0 Platinum Edition. And of course, being the good Samaritan that he is, Sassy gets Clarence to feel the high as well. However, it isn't just Clarence that Sassy encourages to get high in Season 2, as Sassy gets Quentin to smoke his very first ever joint. And funnily enough, this is something that gets brought up in one of the latest episodes of the Donnie and Clarence show. Remember when we gave him a toke of a joint when he was like a little kid? Oh yeah. Wait, did you? Yeah. Undoubtedly, one of the best moments in animation history has Sassy to thank for its greatness, as Sassy guides Les through his Kundalini awakening. Have you ever heard of pain? No. Microscoped pain, mate. Well, that's where you're from. Wait, what? And this all links back to Jared Wright, the creator of Sassy the Sasquatch and the Big Les universe, who wrote this scene to talk himself through his own Kundalini awakening. And he wrote Sassy as his inner conscience that was telling him how to navigate his emotions. And as a result of this, this scene works so well as it's brimming with authenticity, with Sassy telling Les to think for himself and manifest what he wants into existence. Right now you're outside the box, but you're also in the box at the same time. Confusing or not, but only you can make sense of it. Ultimately, this scene has impacted many people's lives, including my own, in an incredible way, and serves as a testament to just how spiritually lifting Sassy the Sasquatch is as a character. And so, Sassy, after having a busy Season 3 and Chuma Island 2, mostly takes a backseat for Season 4, as the storyline pivots more towards Les and his adventures with Taipan Pete. However, during the middle of Season 4, Sassy introduces Les to the secret Sasquatch society. And boy oh boy, is that a lot of S's. And this society is a place where Sasquatches can come and speak their minds, without any worry of being spotted by humans. And of course, with all his lettuce being smoked, the devil himself shows up to this function. Chuma Island 3 takes Sassy on a journey unlike any other on the series, as Sassy and Donnie get trapped in an alternate dimension where they talk to John Lennon. Try this, John. Oh, thank you very much, Sassy. It's always great to get a little high with your friends. And all of this happens before Sassy and Donnie go through a tiny door that leads them initially to the first dimension. And then, after that, transforms Sassy into real life, where he hitchhikes a ride from Jared Wright's real life brother before smoking a joint and being transported back into his timeline. <laughs> However, this trip lasts for over a year, and unfortunately because of this, Sassy misses the death of his dear friend, Les. And this is something that would haunt him and the rest of the fanbase for many years. And six months after his year-long trip, Sassy is seen kicking the footy with Donnie in Mike Nolan's Long Weekend. And honestly, this is just a really wholesome moment where all of the characters are having fun together for the first time since Les's death. And of course, it's a great opportunity for Sassy to put his penguin skating into practice.
And once Sassy is finished living the events of the Big Less universe, he is plucked into another dimension by his higher self, who informs him that he keeps repeating his life over and over again because he can't get over the death of Les. And so, at this point, Sassy's higher self sends him to get some closure, by putting him in an alternate universe where Les is still alive under the name Jez. And after hearing Les admit that he had to die when he did, Sassy is able to get the closure that he so desired. And Sassy is finally at peace with not reliving his life. I got myself this magic jelly bean. Fully erases all your memories. And also gives you a bit of a buzz. Should I, should I take it? Nah, nah, I won't take it eventually returning back to his role as a universal spirit. And in my opinion, Sassy the Sasquatch has one of, if not the most brilliant and well-written storylines in all of animation, giving us so many incredible memories along the way. However, the fun is far from over, as I'm sure we'll see much more of Sassy in the future. And of course, please let me know in the comments if I missed anything, let me know what did you think of this timeline. Also let me know how you guys are finding the Donnie and Clarence show. And of course, as always, I want to give a massive thank you to Jared Wright for dedicating so much of his time to bring us these amazing shows. And as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay sassy.